एक दूजे से मोहब्बत को निभाया जाए आइए जश्न का माहौल बनाया जाए एक नई सुबह की शुरुआत करें हम मिलकर और बीती हुई रातों को भुलाया जाए तोड़ दें खौफ के सारे बुतों को मिलकर दिल के मंदिर में सिर्फ प्यार बसाया जाए दिल के मंदिर में सिर्फ प्यार बसाया जाए Ladies and gentlemen this is Dr Farhad Tumar and I bring you mastering public speaking lesson number 3 which is presentation and uh, in the presentation part we're going to deal with several aspects but first let's see where sony ji and sonu ji have reached you see they started quite low and they took up the ladder of choice to reach the first stage then reached the second stage in the first stage they learned about importance of public speaking they also learned about overcoming fear and the bringing the transformation within that would help them become better as persons and then they took up to the second stage they brought in some little transformations in their daily habits that uh, would help them become a better public speaker and they also knew how to prepare a speech now that they want to reach to the flight of prosperity they must take up the third step that is presentation and presentation is essentially about giving it your mind body and soul and it's not only about words my dear friends and we must know how to engage the audience like magicians do but before everything you see public speaking is going beyond your comfort zones for many we must understand beyond comfort zones that's where the magic happens and certain important things that you need to remember before going up on stage we must eat little before we are presenting a thought and at the same time we must also take proper rest we must dress well that is essential because we want to look better to people the first impression is of the dress that you're wearing and then we must uh, use a pleasant fragrance that's for stimulating you helping you you know recollect the thoughts better and we must smile smile an everlasting smile yes you have to do that and then you need to crowd your audience together you cannot expect you know scattered audience to listen to you properly it's always advised to bring them together if you are talking in a big hall with smaller number of people and then you need to be energetic you cannot effort to look lethargic by any means at all a cup of coffee has worked wonders for me always it has caffeine caffeine stimulates my cns it can help you too and then sometimes listening to the music you know the music that elevates not those guzzles that help you you know that take you to the past and you start sobbing on the stage that should not be done and then you need to switch off your phone dear friends half an hour at least half an hour before you're delivering the talk to avoid any unnecessary distractions you must check the sound system and the light and any other arrangements before speaking and then you must walk around the room that actually removes the fear at the same time you know gets you acquainted with the place because you ultimately are more comfortable and when we are comfortable we speak better and what are the don'ts please don't speak when you are tired and please don't smoke or drink prior to driving and talking and please don't begin your talk by an apology it's a big no no and you don't have to focus on the medium you must focus on the message well uh, you talk about do's and don'ts while delivering a talk remember when you're on stage you must first deep breathe and then you must smile and be patient you're not there to bombard stuff on the audience you are there to win hearts of people and then you must restate an important idea but yeah you need to rephrase it you cannot simply repeat a particular sentence and you need to be very clear use your eyes your body posture and your voice effectively i'll be talking about that in detail and you need to summarize the stuff that i've already talked about and you don't need to be afraid 
and at the same time you cannot rush like a horse you do not point out fingers at the audience remember it Bill Clinton used to have this habit and it took a lot of speech therapists you know to actually help him out with containing the habit and then you do not need to intimidate people by you by you know speaking hurtful things or passing sexist or racist remarks you do not underestimate the audience there are people better than you anywhere and everywhere and at the same time please don't repeat the words and phrases i told you you don't have to rephrase stuff and you please do not lie you will be caught liars are caught one day or the other and you don't have to use technical terms if i use terms like deoxyribonucleic acid or nucleases primases phosphatases and stuff it is going to be over your head because these are technical terms and they are terms related to my field of expertise here when you're talking to an audience you must talk according to what they are comfortable with and then you do not need to overload the audience with information dear friends this is the age of google the people already know a lot of stuff so please don't stuff them up with more and then you need to you don't need to actually read from notes and you don't also need to be perfect you can stumble you can fumble and fumbling is perfectly fine and whenever you fumble or you take an awkward pause make it sure that you continue speaking and finish it did you know that all the words they just make 7% of the impact of public speaking 38% is your voice tone your pitch speed and pauses that you make while talking and 55% is your body language your expressions and your gestures dear friends that's why i say it's not just words that can take the hearts away it has to deal with do with expressions you see these cute little kids and learn some expressions from them we often use you know proper expressions when we are talking in our comfort zones within our families but we somehow tend to forget them when we are talking on stage we need to remember that people connect more with those expressions so you see these bubbly faces and uh, a beautiful expression for surprise oh what an anguish and then she's really frustrated with what she has been given to eat dear friends please learn from these kids and please learn from your own expressions go in front of mirror practice them and if you do not want to learn from people here is a cat and see how beautifully she has expressed her anguish please do it and then about gestures we can learn gestures from the king of gestures who earned a lot of money and fame by you know certain uh, cool gestures that he often keeps doing we can basically embody all these gestures you know using hands is something that we can do it also improves fluency all and at the same time coordinated gestures like this girl is using you know she sometimes is frustrated and uh, she looks surprised here she is really very angry here and uh, you know sad she how see how she has actually you know used her coordinated gestures to express a particular thought you do not always need words to express thoughts dear friends and your body movements are important you need to stand straight you need to be confident you need to avoid lectern as much as you can you can walk a little on the podium you can even walk down to the audience and talk to them be comfortable you cannot at all put your ha pockets put your hands in your pockets and you cannot age unnecessarily it's very uncomfortable and please record your lectures see various moments that you keep doing and try to correct yourself dear friends eyes express a lot it has been a poetic subject for thousands of years so hearts can be communicated through eyes remember if you use your eyes effectively you're going to end up being an amazing speaker do not glue your eyes on a single person please 
it's going to make him uncomfortable and it's also going to disconnect with you with rest of the audience you must also refrain from looking up the ceiling my dear friends god is not going to descend from that ceiling to listen to your lecture for heaven's sake and the earth is not going to fall apart so there's no need to look down to your shoes your eyes should be glued to the people give them two to three seconds each one in front of the in the front row or sometimes in the middle sometimes in the back never on the ceiling never on the floor and voice william Shepherdell, you know, an amazing uh, authority on communication. He says, speech is simply a form of singing. The principal difference being that singing vowel sounds of uh, in singing vowel sounds are prolonged, and intervals are short. And in speech, vowel sounds are basically short, and intervals are prolonged. And uh, when speech has been equated with singing, it has a certain speed, it has a certain pitch, it has a certain pauses. If you use them in a balanced way, you're going to reach to the effect of speaking. And if you do not use them in a balanced way, you'll basically end up giving an ineffective speech. Imagine somebody is given a guitar. If he is a musician, he is going to play things really well. You know, he knows how the tones are set and stuff. But if you give it to a layman like me, I am going to end up, you know, making a really bad tone. So that is important, you know. Pitch, low and high. Speed, slow and fast. You need to know when to speak slow, when to speak fast. See, if you want to say to someone, "Get the hell out of here." you must be loud if you want to tell your blower that you love her you'll be like hey love i love you a lot understood i hope you understood and then please learn stuff from magicians there are seven things that public speakers must learn from magicians they pay attention to every detail so you must also pay attention to all the important details how to dress how to you know Uh, how things are there on the stage how things are there backstage pay proper attention to all that at the same time please practice till perfection no magician will come on the stage with an improper trick he will have practiced it thousands of times you need to practice your talks at the same time you must involve the audience ask questions go to the audience ask them stuff so that will basically help them stay connected and uh, you must bring novelty magicians you know if you have a magician using the same old trick he will obviously lose sheep so they constantly keep improving we must constantly keep adding new stuff to our talks and keep experimenting you know there is a huge expanse of possibilities and we must try keep experimenting to get new stuff at the same time please try to be in control till the end magicians are in control of their whole act and public speakers take it as an act and be in control till the end and you must keep the audiences guessing so frame your talk in a way that the audience is overawed Now ladies and gentlemen Sony and Sono G they have reached almost there is this black triangle that's basically blocking their road though they are happy this black thing it looks like some mysterious triangle like the bermuda's triangle what is it and is it blocking their way to flight of prosperity we will have to check it out and uh, we are going to check it out in the next course next lesson of the course the, what is this black triangle why is it blocking the road of sony g and sono g and not letting them take the flight to prosperity we are going to know it and i will leave you with the thought one crazy you know the ones crazy enough to think that they can change the world they are the ones who ultimately do it ladies and gentlemen let's take the pledge of making this world a better place let's be crazy enough to imagine this world becoming a better place and one day it will be thank you so much for the patient hearing